Let me show you the ingredients and then you'll see how quickly this tartar sauce comes together. You want some mayo, any kind will do. Also pickle. I don't have much pickle here. But if that turns out not to be enough, for some reason I have two open pickle jars in the fridge, so we'll make it work. Onion. This is a, what I have left of a, some green onions, but you can use any kind of onion. Lemon. If you don't have actual lemon, this is what I use whenever I run out of lemons, just 100% lemon juice, or you could even leave it out. You want, you're gonna need some salt to taste, maybe pepper, and uh, I know everyone doesn't put parsley flakes in their tartar sauce, but I think, I think this really takes it to another level. But if you're not really into parsley, but, and you like dill, you could do dill instead of parsley, or you could leave them out. They're actually optional. When I make this, I usually make, use approximately one to two tablespoons of uh, diced onion. I'm not sure how much this is here. Actually, let me use the whites. And of course, everything is always to preference and to taste. I um, I like onion a lot, so if I have enough, I will go with the full two tablespoons. But one tablespoon or less will work as well. And if you do it in a food processor, it'll take even less time. I like a lot of pickle. This is what was left in that one pickle jar. It's so strange. I guess it's like someone started cutting it, but then changed their minds <laughs> and just stuck it back in the jar, but that's okay. That is all right. So just gonna dice this. And again, this only takes about a minute. I don't know if that's quite two tablespoons or not. I would go with three tablespoons, but I think this will be all right. Now this next step is completely optional, but I don't like for my, I don't like for my uh, sauce to be runny. And so what I do is I put the pickle, I put the pickle on a napkin and I just squeeze out the excess moisture. You don't have to do this. And it definitely will save you time if you don't do it. Look, see all that juice? Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze all that into my sink. And then let me show you the difference. Again, completely up to you. But see, I like that better. Now you could just use relish, pickled relish, but I'm not a, I'm not a relish fan. I don't tend to keep any on hand. This is probably only about maybe a one and a half tablespoons of a pickle, but you could definitely add more. And I just used the lemon to make some cocktail sauce, which I'll link to that for some quick homemade cocktail sauce, but it's already cut in half. So this will, will squeeze that in there. Now watch how quickly this comes together. I'm gonna to use about a half a cup of mayo, approximate. All of these measurements are approximate. It really doesn't matter if, you, if it's exact or not. And also we're gonna taste it before we serve it to anybody. Make sure it's to our liking. These are our onion and our pickles diced. Always use clean hands, of course. I would say if you can get about a tablespoon or two of lemon juice out of your lemon, do that. I 
Oops, there's a seed. I don't feel like I got that much. So here's another lemon that I was squeezing earlier. Let me see what I can get out of this one. Yeah. I'm using about a quarter of a teaspoon of parsley. Let's give it a good stir and then we'll taste it and see how much salt it needs. And if you like pepper in it, you can add a pepper. I don't know if I'm gonna add any. See how quickly that comes together? Let me show you. See how that looks? I wanna make sure I get the parsley mixed in really well. Okay, I'm gonna taste a little bit. That is very good, but it could benefit from a bit of salt. Just a bit. Now I uh, do recommend letting this set in your refrigerator at least an hour, really overnight is even better. But I'm being honest with you, I'm making this to go with some fish that I'm about to get in my air fryer in just a few minutes. But I at least made this first and I'll let it set up in the refrigerator. It tastes better the longer, the longer it's able to set up. And I will link to the fish that I'm making. Uh, it's actually frozen tilapia. It is five o'clock and I haven't I never thought it, so I'm gonna be just cooking it frozen in the air fryer because you can do it and it's delicious. And here you go. Doesn't that look great? My pickles and my onions are a bit chunky, but you can cut them smaller or bigger depending on what you like. And that's gonna taste delicious over top of my tilapia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.